I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Deepfakes that sound and appear realistic are becoming more capable of being created by generative AI. As a result, some of the more skilled spoofers have taken social engineering attacks to a darker level. Deepfake AI could generate a general depiction of a human in its early phases of development. Deepfakes have recently used synthesized voices and videos of specific individuals to launch cyber assaults, spread fake news, and ruin reputations. Let us see how artificial intelligence deepfake technology works. Deepfakes digitally change and replicate a real person using deep learning techniques such as generative adversarial networks. Malicious instances include impersonating a manager's orders to staff, sending a misleading message to a bereaved family, and disseminating false, embarrassing images of people. Cases like these are becoming increasingly common as deepfakes get more realistic and difficult to detect. They're also easier to generate thanks to advancements in equipment designed for legitimate purposes. Microsoft, for example, has recently launched a new language translation service that simulates a human's voice in another language. However, one major concern is that these tools make it easier for criminals to disrupt business operations. Fortunately, technologies for detecting deepfakes are increasing as well. Deepfake detectors can look for biometric indicators in a video, such as a person's heartbeat or voice produced by human vocal organs, rather than a synthesizer. Ironically, the technologies used to train and improve these detectors today may someday be used to train the next generation of deepfakes. Meanwhile, organizations can take a variety of actions to prepare for the increasing frequency and sophistication of deepfake attacks ranging from simple employee training to more advanced authentication and security tools and procedures. According to Robert Scalise, worldwide managing partner of risk and cyber strategy at Tata Consultancy Services, TCS, deepfake attacks fall into four broad categories. Misinformation, disinformation, and misinformation are all forms of misinformation. Infringement on intellectual property, defamation, pornography. A mother from Arizona was the victim of a heinous swindle involving an AI-generated deepfake of her daughter's real voice. According to Oded Venunu, head of products vulnerability research at IT security vendor Checkpoint Software Technologies, the first serious deepfake assault occurred in 2019. Hackers impersonated a CEO's phone call, resulting in a $243,000 bank transfer. This incident compel financial institutions to be more attentive and take more safeguards as hackers became more adept. In 2021, fraudsters duped a bank manager into transferring $35 million to a bogus bank account. The criminals knew the company was about to make an acquisition and that they would need to initiate a wire transfer to purchase the other company, said Gregory Hatcher, founder of cybersecurity consultancy White Knight Labs. The criminals timed their attack perfectly and the bank manager transferred the funds. According to Sam Crowther, founder and CEO of both prevention and mitigation software vendor, Casada, the latest generation of bots uses deepfake technology to avoid detection. Deepfakes, when combined with bots, are becoming an increasingly dangerous threat to our social, business, and political systems, he said. Due to recent advances in AI and malicious automation, deepfakes are more realistic and accessible than ever before spreading disinformation on previously unimaginable scales. Spamouflage, a pro-China propaganda organization, for example, utilizes bots to create bogus accounts, share deepfake videos, and propagate disinformation on social media platforms. Deepfake attacks are no longer a speculative threat. Companies should pay attention to them right now. Caution Bent Jendruzek, COO of fraud protection technology vendor Seon Technologies. This includes training staff on what to look for and raising awareness about their prevalence. How can we do deepfake technology detection best practices? Most online video and audio presentations could formally be taken as genuine, not any longer. Deepfake detection is now a combination of art and science. Humans may be able to discern uneven speech cadences or artificial shadows around the eyes of an AI-generated person, according to Jan Druzek. 
more than anything, he continued, I think the vast majority of deepfakes still leave you with that feeling that something is off, and that's because there are errors in the process that leaves residue. When distinguishing between actual and phone photographs, individuals can seek various telltale signals, including the following. Skin and bodily components have inconsistencies, shadows under the eyes, blinking patterns that are unusual, unusual glare on spectacles, mouth movements that seem unrealistic, lip color is unnatural in comparison to the face, incompatible with the face is facial hair, face moles that are unrealistic, shifts in skin tone, strange blinking patterns or jerky movements were simpler to detect in previous films. According to Sandy Flitterman, president, CTO, and creator of financial infrastructure services provider, industry fintech, but technology has advanced significantly in recent years, and many of these old tells have vanished. Today, telltale symptoms may show as lighting and shading irregularities, which are fake. Vanunu recommended using forensic analysis to discover tampering or alteration by analyzing the metadata of the video or audio file. Reverse image searches can also be performed using specialized software to locate visually similar photos used in different settings. Furthermore, according to Yashar Bazadi, CEO and founder of synthetic data platform provider Synthesis AI, organizations are increasingly adopting 3D synthetic data to construct more complex facial verification models that leverage 3D, multi-sensor, and dynamic facial data to conduct liveness detection. When it comes to audio deepfakes, Hatcher suggests looking for choppy sentences, unusual word choices, and the speaker's unusual inflection or tone of voice. New standards bodies, such as the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity, the C2PA, are developing technical standards for determining the source, history, and provenance of content. The C2PA encourages industrial collaboration with organizations such as Adobe, ARM, Intel, Microsoft, and Trupic. Adobe and Microsoft are also developing content credentials to aid with the authentication of images and videos. Deepfake attack damage prevention should be part of an organization's security policy. To assist in countering deepfake assaults, businesses could consult the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency for methods such as the Zero Trust Maturity Model. Businesses should also take the following precautions to avoid spoofing attacks create a multi-step authentication procedure that involves both verbal and internal approval systems, change processes by reverse engineering how deepfakes are used by hackers to breach security systems, create rules and processes that are based on industry norms and new requirements. To combat more sophisticated deepfakes, stay up to date on the latest techniques and technology. Deepfakes as a service based on a neural network technology are expected to proliferate as a natural extension of ransomware as a service, allowing anyone to generate a video of anyone. In the face of such likely proliferation, Scalise cautioned the public and private sectors will need to collaborate and remain vigilant. The goal will be to retain user trust in private and commercial online interactions while also promoting truth and broader social engagement. Deepfake assaults are emerging in lockstep with new detection technology. The future of deepfake attacks is difficult to predict, but they're likely to become more prevalent and sophisticated as AI advances. Venunu reasoned, as the technology behind deepfakes improves, attackers will find it easier to create convincing deepfakes, making detection more difficult. Deepfake assaults are emerging in lockstep with new detection technology. The future of deepfake attacks is difficult to predict, but they're likely to become more prevalent and sophisticated as AI advances, Venunu Reason. Deepfake videos are now a frightening new phenomenon that can be seen online. Many folks utilize the technology merely for amusement. Transforming celebrities or favorite personalities into humorous characters might result in some entertaining viral content. However, not every viral content is created with such good intentions. While not all deepfake videos are malevolent, the technologies have the potential to be extremely dangerous. Jordan Peele provided us with a solid example of how deepfake could go awry. The well-known producer, actor, and comedian is well-known for his accurate Obama impersonations. While his sketches were spot-on, it was clear that they were essentially parodies performed by someone 
who resembled Obama. When he used his voice to dub a deepfake video of Obama, the results were terrifyingly convincing. This 2018 attempt demonstrated how deepfake might go awry, and we should be wary of the possible hazards that lie ahead if we don't take it seriously. Since Peel made his point, deepfake technology has only become more advanced. Deepfake videos are a concern for everyone, not just politicians and celebrities. All that is required is a photo or a video, as well as some damning audio. And the deepfake program will do the rest. You may have seen that you can generate these entertaining films using applications or filters. In theory, anyone can make these videos of you. All they need is your photo and some creative thinking. Given the vast number of people who use social media, it should be simple to find a photo or two of anyone you know. Consider the possibility that someone had terrible intentions and tried to edit you into some contentious situations. Depending on the user's goal, these technologies could jeopardize your job, academics, or personal relationships. What are your thoughts on this? Please comment and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.